this palette. Hey guys, it's Alex from today's video. I'm gonna do a chit chat and get ready with me. This is gonna be a glam get ready with me. I'm just gonna pretty much do my makeup and chit chat. With you guys, I have done these videos before. I like to put these videos a lot better just because I just turn on the camera and talk with you guys. So I'm just going to be doing my makeup and talking with you guys. But I'm going to be using the Avon Gray Makeup Palette for today's look just because I've been using this palette. This palette? Like, I don't mean every day for my makeup. I feel like I'm every day. I've done already a video, which I'll look right here or in the description so far. I'm doing a first impression on it, but yeah, I'm gonna be using this palette to create today's makeup look. I still don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna literally do my makeup and talk with you guys. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, leave a comment down below. I'm just literally just gonna do my makeup, talk with you guys. Um, I'm really hoping the lighting looks good because I am sitting in front of a window. I'm really hoping that it is. If you guys want more videos like this, leave a comment down below. And yeah, also before hopping, make sure you guys subscribe and give a big thumbs up. And that's how we're going to do it. Alright, so let's get started. So currently right now I have no makeup on. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize. This is my e.l.f. moisturizer. If you guys have been around, you guys know this is my favorite moisturizer of all time. So just blow this all over my face. Don't know like what to talk about. First, I have a list of what I want to talk about. But I'm just going to kind of like go with the flow and do my makeup. So I have a like, couple of days to talk about but I'm just kind of gonna like talk with you guys because I haven't talked to you guys in a while but also I haven't uploaded in like two weeks just because I've been busy with work and with family so I'm kind of getting back on my game I don't know why because I like film for like two weeks I'm like film 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 and then I get unmotivated and I don't film for two weeks and then I get back into the routine of filming which is weird, but this is how my mind works. Next, I'm just going to prime. This is a Revolution Pore Primer. This is literally a dupe for the e.l.f. one. I think this is like $6, the other one's like $8, but they're literally the same. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. So, where do I start? I know I've been in IA um, recently, um, but, I'm starting it back in my game. I just need video ideas. So if you have any video ideas of what I should film, what you guys want to see, if there's any series you guys want me to do, is there any like challenges or makeup looks, leave it in the comment down below because I want to film and I want to be motivated. So if I look, if I have a mindset of like, oh, I want to film this, this, and this, then if I stay motivated, then I can film those videos for you. Just leave it in the comments down below. I haven't used this primer in a while, but it's like so good. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this palette today. I like have been using it the past like two weeks since I did that video, which I did that video like over a month ago. And I literally can't put it down like it's so good. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do more videos with this palette. Um and so just because there's so many different looks you can do with it. Alright, so I'm probably going to first start off with my eyes. I'm going to use my L'Oreal concealer. This is what I use for my like eye primer. I just use this concealer and I'm going to apply it over my lids. So, the one topic that I really want to talk about is Halloween. Because you guys saw a couple of months ago when I was Halloween season, I did like 12 videos the whole month. I did really good, but this year I kind of want to upgrade like upgrade and make the videos a little bit more like better and stuff but I don't know what to film. I'm just gonna blend this out with my pea blender. So if there's any video ideas for Halloween for 2021, uh tell me in the comments now just so when this video is up I can have like a mindset and a pre-game of what I wanna do and I can like pre-film stuff and have ideas. So leave me a comment down below because last year I loved my Halloween series. I did like 12 of them. So good. This year I want to like make it a lot better and do more. I just don't know what to film. So I need your help. Concealer is like so good as eye primer. Also there's a crack in the mirror that I literally did. Literally the day that I filmed that video. I think I dropped it or something. So now when I do my makeup it like I have to like 
put it down here just because there's all these lines. Also, if you hear like noise from my family, I have like my niece, my nephew, my brother up here because everyone's upstairs. So if you hear that, that's what it is. Also, there's a lawnmower outside, so there might be like extra noise, but it's just like my family by my door. Now we're gonna actually get started with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna just use one of these like big old brushes from Morphe. This is the Morphe M73. I'm just gonna take the white right here and just set that concealer. Oh, okay, speaking about work, how I've been busy with work and not filming. If there's any like delivery driver videos, you guys wanna see like how many, like how much I make on tips, a day in life as a delivery driver, comment down below because I really wanna do this because I know people do it on TikTok with like waitresses and like, oh my god, how many tips I need. If you guys wanna see that as a delivery driver, because it's kinda like waitering, but I deliver pizzas. And I kind of want to do one of those videos, but I'm going to like do it and then no one watches it. So if you guys want a video like with delivery drivers, like for tips and trips or like how much I make or a day in my life, if you guys want those videos, comment down below because I really want to do one of those videos. I don't have the mindset of like filming it and then like no one wants to see it so yeah let me know all right so let's get started with the eyeshadow and yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using i don't really know what eyeshadow i want to do i know i'm going to use like these colors and do like a rainbow and then maybe use the graphic liners like over the top of them i feel that'd be really like glamorous and really cute i just don't know what colors i'm probably i'm feeling the yellow and the blue and the purple do like a kind of like a little bit of a rainbow and then maybe like the hot pink like over them like as a line or something. I'm feeling that. Probably first I'm gonna take the yellow which is a bing bong and I'm gonna place it in a corner. I'm just kind of like packing it on and then we'll like blend the colors together but I'm just gonna like pack it on with the colors on the be. You don't have to be like neat just because we'll clean it up later when we apply the other colors. Alright with the same brush I'm just gonna grab the blue and do the same thing. I'm just gonna put that in the middle of the eyelid and just like pack it on. Such a pretty like blue color. But recently I've been getting into more like crazy makeup looks that I've seen online because literally when I get ready for work I've been getting into like more like crazy and like difficult looks I literally just go online look for a makeup look and I try to recreate it just because I want to get more into makeup just because I can do my makeup I know how to I know how to do certain looks but there's a lot of looks that I'm like how do you do that I want to like try to accomplish it because I I want to get more into makeup, so I've been doing that recently. That's why all these like crazy makeup looks I've been doing. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, which I'll put like right here, I like show a lot of my makeup looks on those social media. Now I'm move on to the purple. I'm just gonna kind of apply it through my outer V. Ooh, those colors look really good together. I'm just gonna apply it and then like blend it out. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend all the colors together. Alright, so now I have all the shades applied to my eyelid. I'm just gonna go back to the palette and grab with this green and apply to my crease to kind of like blend all the shades together. That looks so cute. Okay, I'm obsessed with this look. It looks so cute. Alright, so now I'm just gonna add more shades. I'm just gonna kind of go back 
over where our ply dove and just add more colors. It's a little bit more like vibrant since I did add that green. The blue is kind of gone. Then with the yellow. And with the purple. Alright, so this is how the eyeshadow look is localized. So now I'm probably gonna move on to my brows, and then when I'm done with my brows, I'll come back to the eyeshadow look. But this is how it's looking so far. Alright, so to fill in my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Morphe Palette Mermaid in the shade Lata and my little elf angle brush, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this. Definitely my eyebrows are not sisters, they're like cousins because they're definitely not the same. I feel like this one, when I fill it in, it looks so good, and when I fill this one in, it just looks like not the same as the other one. I really want to try the soap brows that everyone is posting on TikTok, but I think I have a product that I want to use, but I want to do a whole video on it. Um, is that, but I've tried soap brows before. But it just doesn't look good on me. But I know that's like a new trend on TikTok that I really want to try. Also, speaking about TikTok, I actually have a TikTok. If you guys want to go and follow it, I'll put it like right here or something. I don't really post, but I post with like my niece and my nephew and I post like dancing videos, even though I can't really dance. Um, also, I really want to do another TikTok video with like the hacks, like the makeup hacks that I've done before. I just don't know any like new makeup hacks from TikTok. So I really want to do another video of this, so that might be coming soon. I just have to like plan it out so I know like what hacks I'm gonna use. Um but I really want to do another video. Okay, so now that I'm done with my brows, I'm just gonna do some liquid eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Falsy Cat Eyes. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. Like obsessed. I'm just gonna do a small little liner that is the eyeliner done i'm just going to leave the eyeshadow as this i'll come back once i'm done with my base so for foundation this is the l'oreal to match in the shade in two everyone is raving on tiktok about this so i had to try it i really like it so i'm just going to apply it in the back of my hands and then just take my beauty blender and apply this to my face I think I applied a little bit too much. It's so liquidy and it's like dripping all down my hand. But I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. Foundation is definitely not full coverage, but it is like a little bit of a coverage, but it's not like full coverage that I like. But it isn't like a bad since my skin right now isn't really like bad, but it still looks really good on the skin. And I'm just going to apply it down my neck. About foundations, I think I have like eight or seven new foundations that I want to do my like first impression on. And the majority of that's all my makeup collection and I did like the whole organizing. I literally have a whole drawer of new makeup, which I'm really hoping that's my next video to film is like a full phase of new makeup. But if there's any like new products out that you guys want me to do a first impression on or to try out, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always down to try new makeup again because I have a whole drawer of new makeup that I want to try. But if there's anything that you guys want me to do like a first impression on, like I said, leave it in the comments down below because I what I do but it's that you guys want to see. Alright, so now I'm moving on to concealer. For concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm obsessed 
with this concealer. I'm just gonna apply it as my concealer under my eyes and like everywhere else. But I need the only problem with this is that you have to like squeeze it out of the top to get product to come out. But I really like this concealer and it's like I think like two or three dollars at Ulta. Like it's really good. Alright, so now to big I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photos for this translucent powder. I usually use my Airs powder, as you guys know, but I'm currently out of it. So this is the powder that I've been using. I'm just gonna use this to bake. Look, this powder isn't bad, it just does not compare to my air sponge. I need to get more of it. Because that's like my all-time favorite powder to be with. But this one still does its job. It's just not like really good. But it's not like bad it still does its job it just doesn't compare to my air sponge literally when i bake i literally put it everywhere all right so i'm just gonna leave this powder on for maybe like a minute maybe like 30 seconds on my face and now i'm probably just gonna go back to my eyes to finish up the eye makeup look so i'm just gonna take a small little eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna apply a little bit more yellow to the inner corner Alright, so now I'm just going to go back to the eyeshadow. I'm just going to use a tiny little brush. And I'm just going to pat on some more blue to the center of my eyelid. And also just make sure everything blended. Alright, so now I'm moving back onto the eyeshadow. Like I said in the beginning, I'm really going to need a graphic liner like on top of this eyeshadow look. And with this palette, if you want a brush, you can use one of these. I have a little inner brush. I'm kind of feeling maybe like the pink or the orange maybe do pink and then do orange at the end or something i'm kind of feeling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a little angle brush right here i'm just going to wet it i'm just going to use my setting spray and wet the brush i'm just going to dip into the pink with it and i'm going to create a little line Alright, there we go. That looks so much better. You just have to wet your brush, like really wet it, and then it's a little bit more like opaque. Alright, so that's how the hot pink line looks. I'm obsessed. It looks really good. Alright, so now I'm just going to grab a bit of brush and wipe away this big. Contour, this is a Revolution Contour, this is in shade Mega Bronze. I'm just going to use a little contour brush and I'm just going to use this as my contour. And I'm just gonna apply it to my nose because I'm obsessed with applying bronzer to my nose. Alright, so now I'm moving on to blush. This is a Linden Max Blush in the shade Wild Child. I'm just gonna use my little brush blush and apply this to my cheeks and also to the bridge of my nose it's very very bright so you don't really need that much i literally just do a dip and then just apply it to and then just apply it to my cheeks and my nose 
that much. I'm gonna try to look like a clown. But it's such a pretty color. I'm just gonna do my mascara. This is the Milani waterproof mascara. But if you're wondering, I haven't used this in a while, but it's really good. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to the palette and pretty much just apply all the shades that I have on the top of my lid to the bottom of my lid. So I'm gonna start off with the yellow. And then the blue. And then the purple. Alright, so I'm like halfway done with my makeup look. This is how the makeup is looking like. I'm literally obsessed with this makeup look. I feel like all the colors go really well together. It looks so cute. Alright, so now I'm just going to apply my highlight. Which the highlight I'm using is the Airspun Loose Highlight. I did not know Airspun had a highlight. It's really good look. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm moving on to my lips. I'm going to use this white on wild like brown nude lip line and I'm just going to line my lips with this. And then I'm just going to use this Revolution Clear Lip Gloss in this shade Soar Crush. It's like a nudie, like a little lip gloss. It's so pretty. I feel like that's like the perfect nude. It's like a nudie pink, but it's so cute. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this makeup look. I'm obsessed. This makeup look, it looks so good. So pretty much the last step is use my setting spray. This is the Elf Dewy setting spray. I'm just gonna set my face. Alright, so this is pretty much the final result of this makeup look. I'm literally obsessed with this makeup look. I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, also if you guys recreate this makeup look, tag me on Instagram um, so I can see it. Um, yeah, this is the final result of this makeup look. Like I said, I really hope you guys like these kind of videos. I know you guys do. Um, so if you guys want more videos like this, just leave it in the comments down below. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.